Coming up on Carolina Connection, we take a ride with friendship trays of Charlotte. And we catch some gold fever at the Goggins Mine in Montgomery County, North Carolina. Hello and thank you for joining us for Carolina Connection. I'm Shella Von Bradley. And I'm Graham Fagan. Carolina Connection is a production of Carolina School of Broadcasting in partnership with Cox Media. Today, we're in Gastonia at the Shield Museum of Natural History and Planetarium. Founded in 1961 by Bud Shield, the museum is a collection of interesting artifacts and interactive exhibits that make science and history fun for everyone. Our first story takes us to a little known wrestling school in Charlotte where they're training wrestlers and turning them into some pretty big talent. Let's take a look. Professional wrestling, not quite the expected learning environment, but here, that's exactly what teachers and students seek out. This is High Spots Wrestling School. A few minutes away from Uptown, it's the perfect location for hopefuls far and wide to make their dreams of being a professional wrestler a reality. The school itself is a side shoot of HighSpots.com, a website where fans can buy DVDs, shirts, action figures, and other memorabilia, and where wrestlers themselves can order green gear. The website is owned by Michael Bocchicchio, who in the early 2000s opened this location up as a school with this man. So I kind of know, I can't just grab you. There is a way to grab you. This is George South. Born in Charlotte, he's been a part of the business since 1980. Ever since then, he's performed for many different promotions and wrestled some of the best the business has had to offer. Ric Flair's my all-time favorite. Uh, getting to be in the ring with him is, is very special. Classes are held each Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, with Tuesday's classes focusing on the fundamentals, how to land correctly on the mat, how to lock up with an opponent, how to run the ropes properly, and how to coordinate with one another in the ring. But George's lessons don't end at bumps on the mat. He's very, very old school, and a lot of that gets lost these days, and there's not a lot of people to tell them you don't know anything yet. And George is not afraid to tell you to shut up, you don't know anything yet. With George, lessons that he teaches you, it's not just about wrestling, it's about life in general. When you get to know George, he kind of instills common sense into people that sometimes is, is lost on a lot of people nowadays. Training is rigorous and physically demanding, but the constant bumps and serious risks put a major toll on the body. The object is not to get hurt. It definitely hurts. I've blown out my knee, I've dislocated my thumb. I mean, I've had guys get teeth knocked out and say it's good for the business. Three concussions, probably, maybe maybe more, who knows. I say no, it's good for the doctor business. Two students in particular who came both straight from high spots are now turning heads. Cedric Alexander started at high spots in 2009, honing his craft before jumping to different promotions. Cedric Alexander from Charlotte, North Carolina. Cedric notably entered WWE's Cruiserweight Classic Tournament before losing to Japanese professional wrestler Kota Bushi. The crowd took note of the talented and driven Alexander, who began chanting, please sign Cedric, to which soon after, he was. In 2014, Tessa Blanchard, daughter of the legendary Tully Blanchard of Four Horsemen fame, started in this same ring. She became progressively better and went to performing around the world, from Japan to the United Kingdom, until eventually being picked up on WWE's radar. She competed in the Mae Young Classic Tournament last year losing the Japanese professional wrestler Kairi Sane in arguably the best match of the tournament, showing off everything she had learned from George and her own experiences. So students here are looking to sharpen their skills and make an eventual break into the business, learning in hopes of reaching the heights of Cedric, Tessa, and many others that came before. But to begin, one must know the expectations of something so large in scale. Take a step back and look and see if you're really that dedicated. This is all I do all the time. Make sure it is what you want because you will go through a lot of things that if your heart's not in it, you'll you'll just quit. But with this message comes the potential for great things. How cool is that? Long after I'm gone, that my grandbabies will be able to open up that encyclopedia and show their kids what this their crazy old grandpa did. I'm Austin Edwards reporting for Carolina Connection. Now that was impressive. Those guys are serious about their training and have obviously had some success. For more information about High Spots Wrestling, visit their website at rings.highspots.com.